My name is Veronica Isabel Dalberg, and I'm the founding executive director of Ola Ohio. Ola Ohio is a 501c3 community-based organization that uses a community organizing model um, in the way that we approach the challenges faced by the Latino community. Uh, we were founded over 20 years ago, and throughout our existence, we never really had our own space. We always used borrowed spaces. Uh, we started out meetings in a funeral home, actually, for quite a while until the building sold. And then we were using borrowed spaces in churches and basements. And uh, about five years ago, we embarked on a project to establish a Hispanic community center in Painesville with the eye to the future and the growing Latino population in our community. The schools are now 60% uh, Hispanic. And uh, we have a very young Latino population, which is kind of true around the country and rural areas like where we are based. And um, OLA provides a number of different services, most recently COVID outreach and support, vaccine support and vaccine clinics, um, voter engagement. We just reunited five families, over 20 children, have seen their mom or dad return home to them in the past month because of Ola's work. And that's to, that to me is our bread and butter and what we've always been known for. When we were fortunate to get um, referred to the uh, affiliate support program, it was uh, really such a blessing for us because as we embarked on this project for Hispanic Community Center, um, the team at Raza Development Fund um, Carlos, Stan, Eric, Raul helped us with a financial model, for example, a very complex um, instrument that we learned so much from. And it helped us know how to communicate with the bank to secure the funding that we need for, needed for our Hispanic Community Center. We had tried to rely on some local um, consultants who were wonderful but didn't understand the Latino community, so it was hard for them to articulate um, and put together narratives about our project. So I am deeply grateful to the Raza Development Fund. We have, we have secured a conventional loan with the most outstanding terms that nobody believed we could get. And I know we couldn't have got it without the team at RDF and the Affiliate Support Program. And um, our community is now gonna be able to see expanded services and programming and uh, into the future and um, I'm, again, I'm just very grateful for the support that we've received. And I know we wouldn't be at this point without the affiliate support program. Next week is our groundbreaking ceremony. And I got a confirmation that the district director from our congressman's office is going to be there, county commissioners, the city council, exactly what we had hoped that the Latino community was going to be taken into account. And um, so I'm super proud and grateful.